So, Spyro 3 Year of a Dragon, one of my favourite games of all time, but it's not without its controversy with regards to certain regions across the world, and particularly regarding to its music in this capacity. So basically, there are certain levels in the game which reuse music from earlier levels. So say for example, the level Dino Mines in the original American release, as well as every single British release out there, reuses the theme for the first world level Molten Crater. Likewise, Crystal Islands reuses the theme for Seashell Shore, all of the speedways have the exact same theme, yet at the same time there are actually official soundtrack releases for individual themes to this level, which never seem to make it into certain key releases of the game. Now I'm here to clear this up on the, um, on the European side of things. I own the European Platinum release of Spyro 3, and I'm using an audio tool here called uh, JPS, JPSX Deck. What this basically does is it extracts an archive of all of the available audio present in this game, both music and sound effects. There are a lot of audio files for the characters in Italian, French, German and Spanish, so this is not a very convenient process if you're not American, so the English ones are very hard to track down. However, in terms of music, it's an absolute goldmine, and in doing this I actually discovered that there are two music tracks which go unused in this version of the game, but they apparently are used in the American Greatest Hits version of Spyro 3, but not in the American 1.0 version, because apparently that was rushed. Now, these two tracks in particular are Evening Lake and The Sorceress's Lair. Now, they reuse the themes for Sunrise Spring and Spikes Arena for the uh, British Platinum release, and but they're still on the disc, and... To prove this, I'm actually going to be going through this archive and actually playing the original tracks right on right uh, on display here for you. So, here we go. First one. Oh shit! Yeah, you have to pardon me for a second. one for Sorceress's Lair, right here. Thank you. 
So basically, um, these are the only two tracks which are present in the American Greatest Hits version of the game which are actually on the disc. Other themes such as the original themes for Mushroom Speedway, Honey Speedway, uh, Country Speedway, as well as the original theme for Crystal Island, Haunted Tomb and Dynamines, these aren't present on this disc, but those two themes in particular are. So whether or not the individual themes were bonuses meant for the Greatest Hits version of the game, or whether they were simply just recorded later and Stuart Copeland didn't have the time to uh, basically compose them fully, implement them in the game, whatever the case, it's anybody's guess. But this is just my contribution towards the uh, music controversy. Hopefully this informs a few people who are unfamiliar with the game. Hopefully this allows you to gain a bit more information and insight. Um, or it might just be a little bit of interesting trivia for all of you, you never know. Anyway, this video has officially run its course. Thank you for watching everybody, and uh